Wait, so that's on. All right, cool. Now we are recording. Okay, babe. Okay, today, or yeah, today it's ten thirty-five p.m. Sunday, June third, two thousand eighteen, and this is like take five or something because for some reason I'm having trouble with making this video specifically. I think it has to do partly because of the heat. It's like a hundred in Stockton right now, and the fan was off when I was making the videos earlier. So hopefully this goes well this time and. My lovely girlfriend, voila, right here. She suggested I just act like I'm talking to her like we did in past videos because I'm having trouble with this one. So that's what we're going to do. Cool. And so, I think I forgot what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I wanted to say I apologize. I did not keep my goal of making a video more frequently. I did it in two weeks like I usually do, or even longer. Um, I'm going to try to do it at least once a week, or even twice a week. <laughs> once I get the, the ball rolling with my whole job search, then I'll definitely put more videos when I have like more progress, obviously. I just wanted to say that, and now I'll talk to my girlfriend about... You calm now? Yeah, I'm calm. It's just funny that I have to talk to you, because I can't do it. Um, Okay. So my progress, What's your progress? these you last doing? two weeks, I worked on my full stack project again. I dusted off the cobwebs because it's been a while. Yeah. I had to look at everything because I forgot what, I was like, why did I do this? Why did I do that? You just have to remind yourself why you did everything. And Cause that's hard stuff to remember. It's not there's so bad. much code. Yeah. It's like, why did I do this? It's like when you play a video game and you go back to it, like, why did I save here? Why are my child like this? Mm -hmm. Right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. She plays Sonic Adventures and she has these little pets. But anyways. um, And what's the other thing I did? I made an online portfolio. And I'll show you guys. I need your opinion. And I'll get my girlfriend's opinion as well. Um, Alright. Let me make this smaller. So we can see you as well. Okay. So let's wait for it. Boom! Damn! Shout out to Andy for my cohort. I got that from him. Damn! But anyways, here's the moving palm trees in the background. I wanted to give a chill vibe when people go on my portfolio. <laughs> this portion is... What I want to sell myself, or like really get out there, is like... I'm uh, very like easy to relate to, I hope. And I do this... That's why I put decided to put my vlog first. I wanted to explain to whoever's looking at my uh website that i'm an actual person and then there's where i have my projects languages and where you could email me if you want to work with me so it's a pretty basic portfolio what do you think it's professional it's what neat professional and neat neat organized um, what's your opinion on the background does that fit me Palm trees. Should the moving palm trees? Yeah. Does that fit me? Yeah. Because <sighs> there's many other options. <laughs> oh yeah, and the reason why it took me so long to make a uh, online portfolio is because during um, when I was in App Academy, our one of our uh, teachers was like, "Hey, you can just make your own website um, from scratch on JavaScript instead of using these templated websites where everybody's website looks the same." And I was like, man, I have to start from scratch. Uh, this is, looks like too much to deal with right now. So I never got around to it. But then when I talked to my career coach, I asked him, like, hey, what if I just use, like, a, a website that makes your portfolio for you? He's like, yeah, no problem. And I found Wix. And then Wix is super customizable. So it's unique in your own way. So that's why I decided to go with this route. And that's why it took so long. But I made it. And, yeah, so it's cool. Yeah? I like it. Alright, well, Michelle likes it, so YouTube, uh, tell me what you think about my portfolio. It's right here. You can see the link. Yeah. You should comment down below. Bye. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'll put it in the bio. And, okay. And my thought of the day. Okay, my thought of the day. Are you ready for my yeah. thought of the day? Yeah, thoughts today. Yes. I thought of the I want to tell people on YouTube, okay, 
Okay, my thought of the day was when I went to App Academy mm -hmm. and I applied for the hacker in residence position that I did not get, right? I talked to somebody in an older cohort. His name was Jack. Shout out to Jack. Nice meeting you, man. I hope the job search is going well. I hope you found a job already. Um, he said to me in a negative way. He was like, yeah, like all these boot camps tell you they're looking that the tech world is looking for people to hire, right? These software developers. Right? He was like, yeah, they're, they're telling you um, there's hella openings. There's tons of openings, right? Mm -hmm. But what they don't tell you is they're not looking for any software developer. Mm -hmm. They're yes. looking for good so or great software developers. And yeah, of course, that's negative. If you reflect it on yourself that way and you're like, man, that means I'm not a good software developer if I don't have a job yet. But when he told me that, I was like, wait, that means I just have to get to a certain level instead of, because what I was originally feeling was like, man, I'm not getting a job. I don't think I'm ever going to get a job. But when he said that, I'm like, wait, I could just keep working and getting better. And once I get to that level of a great or good or great software developer, I'm going to get the job. So... It came out in a negative way because, yeah, it is true. You, you go into doing these boot camps thinking like, oh, man, I did the boot camp. I'm going to get a job. But when you don't get a job, the people that don't, it's like, man, what am I doing wrong? You, you, it's because they don't advertise that the tech world is looking for great software developers, not just any software developer, not just anybody that does like a three-month school. So with that being said, you have to do your best to get better. Yeah. yeah. Too. Yeah. And so, so, with that being said, don't take it personal if you get denied. That just means you need to get better. Just keep practicing. Yeah. Memorizing. Not memorizing, but. Some, some things memorizing. Like, what happens when you press, uh, when you type google.com and you press enter? That's like, there's trivia questions you have to memorize. But that, okay, that's a whole different thing. But the point is, if you get denied, don't take it personal. Just get better. Exactly. And that's all I have to say for this. Dude, that was good. Thanks for being here because I was choking. Uh, anything else? <clears throat> yeah, I think I should have showed the recycle bag there. That's our recycle because we drink should, a lot of water. No, you should just put like a cat. I want to edit. Face. I don't want to edit. Okay. Is there anything you have to talk? No. Yeah. Alright, that was a great video. Yeah. And my boy Tom Tom is sleeping under me. Let me see if I could. Hi Tom Tom. Hey baby. He's just like, damn, dude, I'm sleeping, man. Okay, that's all for the video. I really like this video. I'm gonna try to keep my word of doing videos more frequently. And yeah, so anybody watching this video tell me what you think about my what, uh, portfolio and if I need to change my background and what's something that we could ask people they could comment on the on my like comment be like tell me a time when you have or something something that they can interact with me oh let's make it on the uh, spot okay. um because we're still recording damn I should have thought about this all right damn do you know what I'm talking about I do it's like feedback right Feedback or like, if you're watching this video, tell me a time. Um, thing. Sorry, right, this wasn't thought about really well. But anyways, we think about something next time. Comment on my video about how you feel about my portfolio. See you next yeah. time. Bye.